Welcome to my channel PSP Protec. Today we will see how to configure control inputs in MyCom relays. We are having P642 relay and today we will design basically two logic. One is to take the under frequency element tripping output and another is the breaker control. For breaker control we will use control input 1 and 2, 1 for on and 2 for off and control input 3 will be used to determine whether to enable or disable the tripping output of under frequency relay. In order to use control input in MyCom relays, we need to configure three things the setting files, the PSL and the MCL file. In the setting file, first of all, we will change the control input configuration where we will change control input 1 as pulse, control input 2 as pulse and both of them will be used for breaker control. Third uh, control input will be used for under frequency element enabling and disabling so that will be latched. Now you can get three options set, reset, on, off, enable, disable in this control input function. It can be pulsed as well as latched. Now pulsed are used for breaker control and latched will be used for other purposes where we need a latching property. We need to move on to relay output. So in case of output we have to configure two things. One is relay output 2 and relay output 3 which will be used for breaker control. Now we will use relay output 3 for CB on and relay output 2 for CB off. These outputs will actually give the actuating commands to the circuit breakers. Now you can see that for control input 1 and 2 we have used the pulse command and for control input 3 we have used enabled and disabled command because it will be latched either in enabled condition or in disabled condition but for breakers it should be pulsed because continuous output should not be given to the breakers or isolators where there are actuating coils. Now we are labeling the control input names because this will be displayed on the screen of the concerned relay. So there will be uh, three names will be displayed one for circuit breaker on circuit breaker off and the third for under frequency enable or disable. 
so for that we need to give the names in control input labels now we will save this and we will move on to the PSL section in the PSL section we have to we have we need to design the um, things which which you will see now uh, first of all we will go to the under frequency enable or disable function so for that we need to make the under frequency element free from the tripping output and we will use an AND gate with the control input 3 and then we will connect the output to the tripping command so in the early, earlier what was there is that as the under frequency element gets actuated it will give tripping output but now we have made a control input 3 in uh, uh, we have made the control input 3 and free, uh, under frequency through an AND gate so that when both of them will become high that is under frequency element has operated and we have enabled the control input 3 then only it will give the tripping output otherwise the under frequency element will become high but no tripping output will be given through the trip relay So this is connected to the any trip through this AND gate so that when both of the signals will be high then only it will give the tripping. Otherwise only under frequency output will be given as enunciation. So next we will move on to configure the uh, circuit breaker operation for that we need two of the uh, relay outputs which will be used for to give command to the circuit breaker one is cb1 and uh, cb2 uh, cb on and cb off that is relay one uh, relay two and relay three and we need two control inputs control input one a, a control input 1 and control input 2 so we will simply connect this control input 1 to CB on and control input 2 to CB off and to show uh, actually uh, the circuit breaker CB status should be given uh, through the opto input as it is given in the PSL you can see in LED number 8 for CB status now the next part of the configuration is the MCL file in MCL file also we need to configure the control input segment others will we will see or we will cover later on in uh, in the later videos where we will use the goose goose operation where we will see the goose operation but now in this video we will basically focus on configuring the control input so 
first of all in the communication you can see the IP address is given which will be basically used for goose and in SNTP segment also uh, we have uh, given the uh, we need to give the IP for uh, SNTP communication or to give the time stamping to each and every event in the relay so that will be given in this SNTP segment whichever clock or whichever GPS system is connected to the system through Ethernet port we need to give the address of that SNTP server in this SNTP segment now other things like data set goose publishing goose subscribing we will do it later now in the control input in the control segment we need to move on to SP SPCS SPCS segments in the SPCS segment there will be 32 SPCS which are for control inputs you can see this SPCS 0 SPCS 0 1 0 2 0 3 like this there are 32 inputs now we have used only three control inputs so in this three we will change the CTL mode from status only to direct with normal security then only they will operate so change it to direct with normal security or direct with enhanced security anything but if they are kept in the status only mode then they will not operate so for first three SPCS 0102 SPCS 0102 and 03 we have changed it to direct with normal security this is the only change which we need to do in the MCL file Now another small change we need to make in the setting segment that is the hotkey configuration. There is a button in the relays, mycom relays called hotkey where under which we can select how many control input we want in the screen. once again move on to the PSL segment because uh, as I was saying that uh, for the uh, feedback of the CB status we need to take an opto feedback or opto output a opto input 
to show uh, what is the status of the CV but through through an LED as it is already configured here in uh, LED number 8 but uh, here the relay is not connected to the breaker so already here we have again uh, configured LED number 4 for under frequency to show it similar way LED number 8 will be used to show that this CB on and off operation is taking place through relay or not for that we will make a small change that is LED number 8 will be connected uh, as the breaker is on when we give the command to CB on control input then this CB on output will be high along with that we will give a latching command to LED number 8 which will show that the CB on, CB on pulse has gone to gone through the output number 3 now CB off pulse will go to output number 2 to show that we have uh, used a latch reset function we have used a latch reset function which will make the LED of the relay will reset the LED of the relay so when we push the uh, control input 1 to make the CB on the LED will glow and as we push the CB off the LED will become off through the latch reset function so in this way we will show how the breaker will operate in normal cases but this is just to show you how it can operate as you can see that there is a hotkey button so otherwise the relay is not connected to any uh, line or feeder so as we push the hotkey you can get the hotkey menu in the hotkey menu we have setting group selection we can select now you can see the circuit breaker on off and under frequency functions are there as we have enabled them in the hotkey now as i push the on you can see the led number 8 is glowing because the on command is given to the led now as i push the off the led has reset now in the under frequency also as I have pushed enabled LED number 4 is glowing as I push the disable again it will go off so in this way we can use the control inputs in various way in different logic in different relays of my phone thanks for watching my video